Welcome back to the Making the Madness YouTube channel. Sean back again. This time we're going to discuss St. Louis making making a big splash in the transfer portal, adding Javon Pickett from Missouri. That's a guy that averaged 11 points per game in the SEC last season. And given Missouri was pretty bad, they weren't a very good team. But Javon Pickett, he wasn't an efficient scorer necessarily, only 43% from the field. But he shot 25% from three. 74% uh, from the foul line. He got to the foul line way more last year than he had any other year in his career. So he, he made a little bit of a leap at the foul line, but overall, he's not a great offensive player, and that's not really what you're expecting out of him. If you're St. Louis, you have two guys that will score the basketball at a high level, Javante Perkins, who used his extra year of eligibility last year, but got hurt before the season started, took a medical redshirt, and now will return after medical redshirting for his fourth season at St. Louis, and then it'll be his sixth season in college because he did two years in Juco. And then Gibson Jimerson, who averaged 15 points per game without Javante Perkins there last year. So you have those two guys who are both proven reliable scorers, should play solid roles for the Billikens, maybe be first-team all-conference guys, and Perkins might end up being the conference player of the year. But Jimerson has been known as a, as a locked, as a knockdown shooter throughout his career, 42% from deep this year, but he showed a little more to his game this year, and that was a big improvement. I didn't really see that coming, and it was really impressive. Then you have Yuri Collins running the point. He averaged 7.9 assists per game. He had a great season. I mean, he does everything for the St. Louis offense, 11 points per game. He's testing the NBA draft water, showed an improved jumper this year. If he comes back, I think St. Louis has a chance to be a top 15 team maybe in the preseason if a few more pieces uh, figure themselves out. But Francis Okoro, the Oregon transfer, he had 10 points per game, 8 rebounds per game. He had a great season. Uh, you do lose Jordan Nesbitt, who just entered the transfer portal. So I think the biggest question here is figuring out who's going to play the four. I think you're looking at Terrence Hargrove in a small ball four role at the moment, but it wouldn't surprise me if St. Louis ended up adding a true four from the transfer portal, but that's just a one position where you're just like, okay, I'm not sure what's going to happen here. I guess it, theoretically you could play uh, like a Javon Pickett in a small ball four role. I don't think he's done a ton of that in his career, if at all, but uh, he's 6'5", 215. If you want to go super small, you can go with Javon Pickett at the four, but Hargrove isn't huge either. He's, he's shorter, so maybe you can go one of those two at the four. Uh, have that kind of as like a four-guard lineup in a sense with a Quora running the five. I think that'd be interesting to see instead of adding a true four. I think that could work potentially well because Pickett, if you leave him open, he could hit a shot. So I think that could be an interesting lineup. I'm curious to see what the Billikens wind up doing, but adding a guy that averaged 11 points per game and defends at a high level is a good get for any team in the Atlantic 10 Conference. And I mentioned how St. Louis, I could see them as like a top 15, top 20 team in the preseason. I think this addition probably solidifies them as my top team in the Atlantic 10. I, I don't see that changing. I, I see Dayton right up there, but they've returned most of their team. They're going to need some guys to take some jumps, but I think they will, like Deron Holmes, Tumani Kamara, Kobe Elvis. I think all those guys could make jumps, Malachi Smith, but with, with St. Louis, you add a little bit here with Pickett, and you return a lot of your roster too, though, like and, and a little more experienced guys. Like you have Perkins, who I said is a six-year senior. You have Fred Thatch, who's, who can also play some small ball four if you need him to. Uh, you have you have Gibson Jimerson, who's been around for quite some time at this point. Uh, this is going to be his fourth year in college. So you have a lot of guys that have played a lot of college basketball, a little more in Dayton's guys who were mostly freshmen and sophomores last year. You have a little more experience, and they won 23 games last year. This wasn't a team that was just near the bottom of the A-10. This was a legitimately good team who beat Boise State on the road last year. A Boise State team who ended up being really, really good. Then you, they beat Richmond. They beat Iona. They've beaten some teams. They beat Dayton. They beat a lot of good teams last year, and I think the St. Louis team has a chance to be very, very good this year. Uh, will they Will they win the A-10? Like I said, I think so. But you look at some of the other teams. You have Dayton. You have Loyola Chicago coming in. Loyola Chicago's going to be good, too. I mean, they added Bryce Golden the other day from Butler. They added Phillip Alston, a D2 transfer. They do lose some pieces, but Drew Valentine has them clicking at a high level in his second season with the Ramblers. And then you have other teams like VCU. VCU is losing quite a lot, it appears. Vince Williams has entered the draft. We'll see if he ends up coming back. Hassan Ward, their do-it-all big man on the defensive end, has entered the transfer portal. Uh, but Mike Rhodes knows how to win games. That's what he's going to do. You're going to get Ace Baldwin back. You're going to get Jaden Nunn back. You're going to get 
You're going to get a, a few other pieces back, like Jameer Watkins who missed the year. So I would expect the top four to kind of shake out like that based on how I currently see it. But St. Louis is atop a top of the pack right now. And that'll do it for this video, talking about Javon Pickett committing to St. Louis. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And until next time, have a good one.